the last round of the Israeli Cup. Ladies and gentlemen, how are you today? My name is Nitzan Steinberg, Grandmaster, and we got the last round of the tournament against Rishon Lezion, you know, very, very strong team and club with the Grandmaster Boris Gelfand, you know, one of the best players in the history of chess, of course, in our country. Uh, you know, he, he managed to, to play against Vishen and Anand for the world champion title. It's just crazy. You know, he's a very good person and friend. And after him, we have Maxim Rochten, also another very strong grandmaster. We have there Evgeny Zanan, grandmaster, of course, or Bronstein. And Imrod Weinberg, two international masters, very strong. Uh, you know, it's it's very difficult to play against so strong team, uh, young and, you know, with power in their eyes for the first place of the tournament. So we had five boards. We play each other, you know, like the first board uh, in our team against their first board. And in our team, uh, I don't forget, I, I'm not sure if I uh, said to you, but we had three players in our team were not in the tournament. Grandmaster Evgeny Posny, Grandmaster Tamir Nabati, and also Grandmaster Viktor Michalevsky. Three of them were not in our team. You know, it's just amazing to play without them, you know, to, to on the first prize, right? It's just an uh, incredible achievement. And of course, we miss them. And they were very, very, you know, uh, missing for us uh, in our, you know, like, uh, we all the team, we are friends and uh, play without them. It was a very strange for, for me and also tough, of course, because they are very, very strong. So in this game, I played in the, the third board uh, of the team, you know, and uh, I played against a good friend also, Grandmaster Evgeny Zanan with the black pieces. Let's see it. And before it, don't forget, if you like this video, press the like button and also comment below your thought about this video and what about you think about the opening and the lines and the moves and just tell me whatever you want I'm here for you so let's start he played the move e4 and Evgeny you know I, I know him I think like 14 years uh, from now and uh, you know it's just amazing to play against him and I, I remember that he's playing d4, c4 maybe, also knight d3 but in the last years he's playing the move e4, c5 and now he thought like I think one minute and he played the move c3 and it's not something that, uh, that uh, really associated with him I played the move d5 of course this is the Alapin uh, opening knight f6 for example e5 knight d5 d4 takes take uh, takes of course with the white uh, with the pawn of course d6 knight f3 knight c6 also e6 can be possible uh, so, you know so much theory here is just uh, you know um, yeah it's it's very very much theory so much games were played i i must say that i don't like so much the Alapin uh, because you know it's not it's not uh, with all the power of the pieces and a lot of uh, theory, uh, you know, like we are exchanging so much pieces. So it's, it's very equal, I think. Um, but yeah, he played this, uh, this line, d5, c takes, and now I didn't took with the queen. Also, this uh, can be possible, of course, uh, d4, knight f6, knight f3. There is uh, e6, bishop f5, bishop g4, uh, knight c6 also maybe possible, yeah. Uh, C takes D4 also possible. So, but you know, so much theory. I didn't want it. And uh, after E takes D5, I played the move Knight to F6. And the point that after C4 E6 and uh, C, uh, e, uh, D takes E6, of course, Bishop takes Knight C6, Bishop D6, Castle Rook E8, Queen C7, Rook 8 D8, and it's it, it's really really good. You know, what, Black has a, a very big potential here. Queen C7, Knight D4, Rook E8, Rook sorry, Rook here. Of course, uh, rook a d8. Yeah, it's it's very complicated, but uh, but you know it's interesting, of course. But he played the move bishop b5, and in this position, I, I a little bit mess up, right? Because in this position, the best move, of course, is knight b d7, and you know after c4, for example, a6, 
and now white has two options bishop takes d7 or maybe bishop to a4 bishop a4 just b5 c takes an id5 and black has a very very good potential and you know like um, initiative here knight b4 knight 7 b6 e6 uh, maybe bishop b7 yeah it's, it's, it's not so easy for, for white to play, I think black is totally fine in this position But in this position also bishop takes d7 can be played, queen takes, knight f3, sorry, e6 Queen e2, bishop d6 takes, queen takes And this endgame is also totally fine for black, two bishops and uh, the initiative of course and yeah, it's 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 quite good. Black will do castle long, rook h8, bishop f5 after it. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine for black. Should be equal. Should be equal. But I play the move bishop to d7 and it's not a good move. Bishop takes d7, of course. Queen takes and c4. And after e6, you know, it seems like black is fine. But no, after queen e2, I'm not sure what can I play. For example, bishop e7, d takes e6, f takes, knight e3, knight c6, castle, or maybe d3, I will play e5, but he will play d3, knight c3. Yeah, I'm sure that it's not so easy for white. Of course, white has one pawn up, but it feels like the the initiative is not so big, right? I'm not, I'm not sure that, um, you know, uh, this initiative is enough for the pawn. So queen e2, I, I really blew, blew it up. I'm not sure that I, I remember this move, but queen e2, it seems like... Black uh, is suffering a little bit, but he played the move d takes e6, queen takes e6, queen e2. It seems like my opponent uh, want to take the draw because, you know, uh, we know each other so much time and, you know, uh, we played also in the league uh, this year and also I was with white pieces, I was winning, but after it I, I didn't mention, uh, you know, uh, to win it. And um, yeah, and, 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 and the draw is a good result. So he played queen e2, take, take. Uh, of course, with with the knight, uh, knight c6, knight bc3. Now maybe I should have played knight before with, of course, the threat knight c2 check. But I think castle, long castle, and black has you know white has pawn up, but I'm not sure about his pieces, right? Because we will play bishop d6, rook h8, knight d3. This pawn will be weak, right? And this bishop is not so good, and I'm not sure about his pieces, right? So you know, in this position, I really like black. And I'm not sure that, may, oh sorry, maybe this was the best, uh, um, you know, approach uh, to this to this position because the activity of our our pieces with the black pieces are, you know, just uh, very very good and very very tense, right? Because if if white uh, will not give back this pawn, uh, I'm not sure what uh, what will be happen uh, because after 95 yeah after 95 castle knight c4 b3 95 d4 just takes takes bishop b4 knight db5 a castle and you know in this position it's it's really drawish bishop g5 we will just um uh, re remove all the pieces from the board and draw will agreement you know very very soon so after a castle i offered the draw uh, because i didn't saw something to to play for you know it's very drawish position and uh, my opponent, Evgeny Zanan, took the draw and uh, yeah, we finished the game very, very fast. But you know, I think maybe night before in this position was, was much more interesting for, uh, for me to play. Um, because yeah, in, in, in the activity point of view, our pieces are more developed than him. And yeah, after castle, long castle, bishop d3, bishop d6, rook h8, all our pieces are very, very good. And his pieces are just awful. So yeah, maybe maybe it was, was a better and clever uh, approach for this, uh, for this uh, position, of course. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. But no, I will not finish here. I really want to show you something, uh, uh, how this tournament end because I didn't say to you. So, as you can see, let me check something. Yes, you can see it. So this was the last round. You can see Boris Gelfand with white pieces draw against Michael Royce and Maxim Rochten, very good friend uh, of, of mine. You know, he lost to my, um, to my teammate, Devoiris Simeon. Uh, with the black pieces, Maxim Rochen lost to Devoris. I did a draw against Evgeny Zanan. Or Bronstein drew, drew with Ori Kobo, my best friend, uh, of course. And Nimrod Weinberg draw with the legend, Alexander Kuzman. 
So yeah, we took the first prize, the first uh, place of this tournament with Bersheva club and it was four times in a row to take also the league and also the cup so congratulations for all my teammates you know it was an incredible year and uh, you know I, I, I'm just glad to be here and to play with you guys so thank you very much and uh, don't forget to like like and subscribe my channel thank you very much and I want to show you once one thing the last thing for this video you know in the last two weeks I um, I bought some things for my, you know, like my studio to be more good for you guys. And I can show you that I bought once, one second, you can see it. I bought a ring. I bought a ring because I really want you to see me better. And we have microphone and we have a ring and there will be more surprises in the near future. So thank you very much. For watching don't forget like comment and subscribe bye bye